Now here's another problem where we're going to convert from one base to another. Convert the base 10 numeral 56 to a base 2 numeral. We're going to think about the powers of 2 that we could use. We could have 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 4th, 2 cubed, 2 squared, 2 to the 1st, and then of course 1. Now those will give us 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. We see that 64 is too large, so we're going to eliminate that from our work because it's larger than 56. 32, however, will divide into 56, so we'll begin there. 32 divides into 56 one time. Multiplying gives us 32. We subtract to come up with 24. What this tells us is that we have 1 times 2 to the 5th power as part of our expansion. And let's write that down at the bottom. Now we're going to take our remainder of 24 and work with it. 24, we're going to try to divide by the next greatest power of 2. That would be 24 divided by 16. 16 goes into 24 one time. We subtract, and we get a remainder of 8. This information tells us that we have 1 times 16, which we can write as 2 to the 4th power, as part of our expansion. We take our remainder of 8, and we move down to the next power of 2. 8 divided by 8, one time, with a remainder of 0. This tells us that we have 1 times 2 to the 3rd power as part of our expansion. We'll write that down. But notice that we have a remainder of 0, which means that we're going to end up having 0 times 2 squared, 0 times 2 to the 1st, and I'll write it down here, 0 times 1. Now we're going to pick up all of our digits. Here's a 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And that is our base 2 numeral that represents the base 10 numeral 56.